Okay, um, today I want to talk about the eyepieces which are called ultra wide angle, super wide angle, different names. This name doesn't uh, show any scientific meaning in the terms of it's just a marketing label that the manufacturers use. Uh, but what I mean is that something in the, in the range of 80 degrees uh, um, angle of view. So we have here 130 millimeter. I had a bigger 138 millimeter Panavio, Skywatcher Panavio. I don't have it at the moment with me. Uh, it's somewhere I have to f dig for it. Uh, but I have this 30 millimeter, then go to the 24 millimeter, then. I have here this 60 millimeter Nirvana, one six millimeter, and then we come to the Spear Valors uh, 7.2 millimeter, millimeter one. Then the Nagler Original or Tape One Teleview Nagler seven millimeter, uh, which is the lowest one that this range I have. And uh, I use all of this. Uh, a lot and uh, I must say the best of this experience that I had was with this one and this one uh, and there is a reason for that uh, um, first the uh, wide angle and the magnification in this is reasonable with this at the same time this is very comfortable these two are very comfortable with the eye this is all right this is uh, not as all right but isn't very good and this is also, I've not used it much, but uh, it's similar to this in a way because I have some 34 millimeter ones. 38 millimeter one was really good as comparable to the uh, Max Vision 40 millimeter, but much better because they had a wider angle of view. The only problem was that this eye cup top was very wide, so you actually have to have a very wide face to watch it. Normal human beings are not like Mongolian people probably like that. Some people in China or Japan maybe have such a wide face. Uh, other people don't have that. For viewing it, you really need a little bit break your bridge of nose just to accommodate the widths of the eyepiece. The reason I prefer these things is because what you see uh, in a normal plus, for example, eyepiece, normal eyepieces that everybody has, they are around 42 degrees field of view field of view is just a circle of the view that you can see the bigger the circle of view the less you see the body of the eyepiece itself that means this is what is called the uh, space walk effect or port hole view effect as if you are looking out of the window of a spacecraft and you don't see the actual window you see the whole space around you so in a low angle view you are looking through this hole and in a wide angle view, the hole almost disappears. The body of the eyepiece almost disappears. This is the experience you will have with this. Uh, even wider than this exists, that's Myriad and uh, Lunt and uh, Explore Scientific uh, and some of the ethos range of the Teleview, the you know, ethos range of the Teleview uh, eyepieces. They have 100 to 110. And uh, Explore Scientific has even 120 degrees, they're three inch. Uh, focuser ones, so you need a big tube uh, focuser for that. Normal telescopes don't have that thing. These are this is two inch one, this is two inch one, this is one and a quarter inch, one and a quarter inch, one and a quarter inch. The size of the draw tube that you put your eyepiece into it. And so, uh, again, I'm saying that this is for the immersion factor. You feel that you are in this space. The body of the eyepiece almost disappears. You will, you will have to roll your eye around from this direction to this direction. Uh, I've heard in the 100, millimeter, 100 degree ones is like that. You can roll your eye from this direction to this direction to see the whole field of view. As if you are looking through a window. Within the window, we do the same. We turn our head from left to right and see the different parts of the view that window is providing us. So with these eyepieces, such a view is made possible. The spacecraft, spaceship view, porthole of a spaceship or a ship, uh, and you're looking out of that to the space around you, to the star clusters, to the plates, to the double cluster in the Perseus, to the Andromeda galaxy, which is really a wide three and a half. If you, if you could see uh, like a photometer, if you were as sensitive as a uh, photometer or a camera, you could actually see the whole width of the Andromeda galaxy more than three and a half degrees, even up to five degrees I've heard. 
And that is because this is an enormous galaxy, and we are so close with only 2 million light years away, uh, just around 19 times the diameter of the galaxy itself we can see. And it's, it's, it's such a huge thing in the sky. It's, it's, it's almost um, 8 times the width of the moon, if we were sensitive enough to see all the widths of that. And we see the central part of it with the naked eye. And uh, in that sense, it's one of the closest uh, large galaxies, a spiral galaxy to us. Our galaxy probably had a collision in the past with it. Uh, interaction, gravitational interaction, I should say. So, these kind of eyepieces provide you with that. And I feel that uh, I can recommend this, uh, uh, if you can get it. Uh, the Explore Scientific has actually uh, this version at uh, 50, 24, 82 degrees. This one, Nirvana, is one of the best eyepieces. It's so easy on the eye. When you look at uh, through this, just your eyes as if the muscles, the strained muscles, open up. Uh, this is not bad. I used it. I have a video about it. This is, of course, so-so. Uh, I like it, but uh, it's not the best eye piece too, because there is not enough eye relief. Eye relief is the distance that you are should be from the top part of the lens to see the whole picture. Uh, not as good as some of the eyepieces that are like this one that I have. This is very comfortable, this is very comfortable, this is also very comfortable. And Panaview, that is the empty space here, it was here, I should put it here, I don't have it at the moment. Also is like that. Panaview is so big, the eye top of it, that uh, sometimes I feel that it doesn't fit for human face to look at it with one eye. You have to put two, your two eyes in front of it just to see the whole picture. It's very... In a way, it's uncomfortable. In a way, it's also strange. You feel, oh, yo, that's a nice experience. And, um, yeah, these are the 82 to 80 to 82 degrees um, uh, eyepieces that I have. Uh, I mean, future, I, I wish I had something between 16 to 7, something like 13 millimeter one. I have a Skywatcher uh, SWA 70 degrees. 13 millimeter one which is really pleasing i have a video about it i will add it at the end of this video i had a very nice view of the uh, planet venus with that very comfortable very easy no no trouble at all but that is not 80 that's 70 degrees and uh, the portal experience uh, can be achieved with this one surprise surprise a cheap wipe is called ostara or you may buy it also on the name of the Orbinar, different names. That has one of the best uh, feelings of a spacewalk that you can achieve with any eyepiece. It's a possible eyepiece, of course, but that almost the body of the eyepiece disappears when you're watching through it. Uh, I'll put some of the videos I have from this one, and just you can see. The moon uh, view that uh, in one of our videos you see there, suddenly the eyepiece shows the moon, a little bit of the moon, the reflection and so That was with that uh, 40 millimeter plus old eyepiece Orbinar. Very cheap eyepiece, but one of the best. This is a planet Venus. I well, say this has the, one of the sturdiest images I've seen of Venus. This camera provides, or oh, the atmosphere is good, but it's a gibbous phase anyway. <laughs> 